Art of networking, everyone can learn it? I think most people can improve and some people are better in networking by nature but most people can learn a lot. And then when we have the question we work together with teams of about uh, 10 to 12 people. They are uh, multidisciplinary, different cultures, different backgrounds. Uh, some are just students uh, who, who want to learn more. Others are professors who like the topic. And there is always company uh, participants with it. To improve quality of life of uh, the people, you have to combine knowledge on biological aspects of health with behavioral aspects, economic aspects, as well as uh, re regulatory aspects. So whenever students, uh, instead of just reading, uh, Mr. X has uh, these and these problems, nowadays they go to the hospital, they meet a real patient, and after that they come back in the group and they report on it. We also defined uh, quality criteria and also processes to start a new collection of material, what we should call a pearl. Therefore the, por the paddle snoor or the string of pearls, it's a collection of different studies that can be on one chain and the chain is the infrastructure. So that's the idea behind it. And the campus in Brussels offers uh, staff, students and alumni a place to work. For example, uh, you can organize uh, conferences there, seminars, we have part-time PhD programs uh, even. Well, they, what, what we try to do is to keep the the analyst in the lab uh, blind for the actual case because in the end uh, the, the question that you ask to, towards the analyst is whether or not a specific substance is present in a specific sample or not um, and it doesn't matter for the analyst uh, if that is a question related to let's say a, uh, a homicide in Maastricht or uh, a rape case in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. 